Hey guys, welcome to BT Travel. It's Natasha King, your Bajan tourist, and today I am in total tourist mode. I'm so relaxed. I'm in St. John on the east coast of Barbados. Behind me is the Atlantic Ocean, the salt air, it's just wonderful. Where am I in St. John? I'm in Bath, Bath Beach St. John, and I'm at Bath Beach House. And today we're in for a treat because we're going to be kayaking, we're going to go on a hike, and we're gonna have some great food. But before we do any of that, we're going to talk to Zari Evelyn, the owner of Bath Beach House, and he's going to tell us everything we need to know. Peaceful, rugged, and rustic, this side of the island is great for a getaway. An owner of Bath Beach House, Sari Evelyn, who grew up spending time here, has created a place where locals and visitors can have an authentic East Coast Bajan experience. So we are here with Zari Evelyn, the owner of the Bath Beach House. Zari, thanks for having BT Travel. It's a pleasure. Glad to have you here. We're happy to be here. Sorry, what is this place all about? Right, so basically we uh, give people a memorable day, you know, somewhere, somewhere different. You know, you come down here, you know, you're on the east coast of Barbados. We, uh, you can come here, you know, just for lunch or drinks if you want, just pass through. We, we do get many uh, tourists that are driving around, passing and just discovering a place and, 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 and dropping in. But our, our, main, our main product really is our day pass which uh, locals as well as foreigners love to enjoy. Uh, you, you come here from the time we like open at 10 a.m. and uh, we do hiking with the guests and also kayaking. And also the, the day pass includes a buffet lunch. So you get all that for Barbados, $60. Wow. Yeah. And we, we usually do one activity before lunch and one after lunch. And uh, it usually depends on when the, uh, the tide is low. So if the tide is low in the morning, we would kayak in the morning and, and hike in the afternoon and vice versa. So the kayaking offers one unique unique type of experience and the, the hiking is something completely different as well, but also a unique experience. And then you can just come if you don't want to kayak or even go on the hike, you can just come and just chill out here all, oh, all yeah, day. Oh yeah, yeah. We do get many walk-ins who have seen the signage or have heard about it from the hotel concierge or just happen to be in the area and they just drop in and that's, that's quite fine with us. You know, we have a full bar and uh, a full menu. So we, we we are happy to welcome people just on a whim. Just drop in for a beer. And uh, those guests that just drop in can spend as long as they like as well and uh, use the facilities and the beach chairs. Tell me the magic of St. John. I know it, but tell <laughs> it, explain it to people who don't understand what the magic of St. John is. Right. Well, well, historically, St. John was a very wealthy parish because it was a very, a lot of the sugarcane plantations were, and a very productive uh, parish. And it's it's still probably the parish with the richest soil and, and the most beautiful trees and and uh, plants and whatnot. And and still a lot of sugarcane fields to be seen. And, and the the coastline too is is rugged and. and um, has similarities to you know the other parts of the East Coast coastline, but it is unique in its own way because it is a bit more remote and uh, inaccessible than uh, coastlines in St. Joseph and uh, maybe maybe St. Andrew as well. Okay, great. So it's time for me to try my hand at kayaking. Yes. Taste some great food. Correct. And then go on a hike. It's going to be a full day. Yes. Are you joining us? Unfortunately, <laughs> not today, but I have, I have right. my, my guides here to look after you and you have a great day. Okay, great. Let's go guys, let's go and see what Bath Beach House is all about. Time to suit up and get our equipment and head down to the beach where our awesome tour guide Amber gave us some pointers on how to navigate the kayak through the waters, which at low tide are quite shallow. So if you should happen to fall in, you'll be fine, since the deepest it gets at that time is only three feet. is the only place on the east coast you can safely kayak because the outside reef breaks up the waves so the water is flat making it an ideal spot for kayaking the wind blows you towards the beach so you don't have to worry about drifting out to sea 
you are guaranteed beautiful views of the hills and coastline. And if you're lucky, you might spot a turtle or a stingray. Unfortunately, they didn't make an appearance today. Time to bring it in and get cleaned up for lunch. Between the rowing and the sweet salt air, we've definitely worked up an appetite. On the menu is some tasty Bajan fare, which we were more than happy to partake in. Eating good food is always the hardest part of the job, but I had to make sure we were fortified to take the hike, which is a kilometer and a half long down to the fishing village of Concept Bay and back. Jamal led us on the trail, which is well-maintained and is also used by the hiking association and mountain biking enthusiasts. So this is the first stop on the hike in St. John. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Behind me, all down there. You never think this is Barbados, right? But it is. Look at that. Look at the bay. That's Concept Bay right down there. And that's where we're going. It took us a little energy to get here. But we're going down there. Hey guys, as you can see from my grand entrance, we made it back in one piece. We had a great day today here at Bath Beach House in St. John. Spent some time on the kayaks. We took in the salt air and we had a great lunch. And then we hiked it up to Concept Bay and made it back in one piece. And it was great. Something for everybody here, honestly. If you wanna just do nothing and lounge and relax, you can do that. If not, you can get into some adventure. Right now, I'm getting into the adventure of taking a little break right here and, um, you know, breezing out. So that's it for me. I'm Natasha King, your Bajan tourist. See you next time.